After this rainy and gloomy layover in Atlanta, I am finally glad to be leaving and heading to Cancun. Because I arrived to Cancun International Airport later in the evening, it took about 30 minutes to pass through Immigration and Customs. Because I had a long and busy day today, once I arrived to the hotel, I went to sleep right away. After a good night's sleep, I ended up leaving the hotel around 6.45 a.m and I had to head to 7-Eleven to grab some coffee before I began my full day 10 hour tour. After a two and a half hour drive from Cancun, we finally arrived to Chichen Itza, which is one of the new seven wonders of the world. What I like about this guided tour is that the tour guide was able to explain in detail about the monuments and how and why it was built. Without the tour guide, I would not have known that this wall was built with different sizes of bricks for better acoustics so the king or the emperor could hear the conversations of their enemies. And here it is, El Costello. What I learned from the tour guide was that under El Costello is a big pool of water. After visiting Chichen Itza, I have made it one of my travel goals to visit all the seven wonders of the new world.
After Chichen Itza, we took a short drive to this new area to have lunch and also visit a cenote. How it was explained to me is that a cenote is an underground cave area with a body of water. It is pretty much a sinkhole where you can swim in it. Lunch is all-you-can-eat buffet style. Although the buffet food was very simple and minimal, I really enjoy having the chance to taste authentic Mexican food in this region. And here we are at the Majestic Cenote. Unfortunately, I did not have the chance to swim in the Cenote because of personal issues. And this city, which I am not going to even try to pronounce, is the last stop of the tour before heading back to Cancun. Here I had a chance for tequila tasting, which I was able to try some of the tequila that was made and brewed in Mexico.
after this very long and tiring but exciting tour, I decided to stop at a local supermarket to grab dinner. It was very fun to walk around this local supermarket and see what the local food and products are being offered. For my second and last day here at Cancun, because it was a half day, I decided to explore more of the hotel zone in Cancun. I mainly spent my time looking at local boutiques and stores and visiting the beach. And yes, for lunch, I decided to eat American food. Now it is time to head back to my hotel for my airport shuttle to pick me up and head to the airport. At this airport, I found it very interesting and funny that the Priority Pass lounge was before entering the TSA.
after passing through TSA and confirming my gate, I decided to visit the Plaza Premium Lounge because I had about 3 hours before my flight departs. When I got to the Plaza Premium Lounge, I did have to put my name on the waitlist and I was informed that it would be a 2-3 to three hour wait. Fortunately, after an hour putting my name on the waitlist, I got a text confirmation that my seat was ready. What I noticed about this Plaza Premium Lounge is that it is very nice but also very small in size. On my flight from Cancun to Dallas-Fort Worth, because the plane was pretty empty, I had the whole entire row, the three seats, to myself. Because I arrived to Dallas late in the evening, after landing, I headed straight to my hotel and fell asleep. And of course, what I had to do is join a city tour. My tour guide did inform me that Dallas unfortunately is known for the city where our former US president JFK did get assassinated. The X's on the street is unfortunately where JFK got shot.
My tour guide did inform me that 7-Eleven was founded in Dallas and this is the first 7-Eleven ever. Neiman Marcus is from Dallas and this is the first Neiman Marcus. And for lunch, my tour guide didn't make a stop at the Dallas Farmer's Market. Besides being my first time visiting Dallas, another reason why I decided to have a layover in Dallas was to visit the Capital One Lounge. I will post a separate video of my experience at the Capital One Lounge in Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Now it is finally time to head back home. <laughs> 